What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a brand new add-on for Blender that allows us to copy details between different faces inside of Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Mesh Copier is a cool new add-on for Blender that allows us to quickly create copies of objects from one face to another face. So. Um, basically what it does is if you have a bunch, especially with uniform faces, but with other faces too, if you have details that you wanna copy quickly across faces in edit mode, this tool allows you to select the perimeter of the object, then select target faces and copy those objects along the surface. So um, I'll show you exactly how this works in a second. You can download this in the Blender market. I will link to it in the notes down below. But basically the first thing we wanna do is you wanna make sure that you've installed and enabled Mesh Copier. So download it and install it inside of, inside of the Blender add-ons manager. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to tab into edit mode on an object. So for example, I've got this simple shape that's basically an extruded cylinder. And notice how this has a number of repeating faces in here. But what I have is I have this extended little button looking shape in here. And I wanna copy that for these other faces right here. Well, the way that's gonna work is you start by selecting the edge loop around the object. So I'm just gonna hit the two key in edit mode. Remember, you do have to be in edit mode to do this. And I'm gonna select the edges around the surface like this. Well, then you can right click and look for the option that says mesh copier right here. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow us to select our copy region. Once we're done with that, then we can hit the three key and then we can go select the surfaces that we wanna copy this along. So now, if I right click in here, we can click in the option for mesh copier right here. So what that does is that basically creates copies of the objects on whatever surface we had selected. And so that works not only on one side of an object like this, but let's say you had a more complex shape like this one. Um, we could select the perimeter of our object, right click and run mesh copier, and then we're gonna select some surfaces. So in this case, right, I'm gonna select these surfaces. Then I'm also gonna select some alternating surfaces on the top and on the other sides. So again, I'm just doing a shift click in order to select these surfaces. But now, if I right click and I click on Mesh Copier, it's gonna create copies of that object on all of the surfaces that we had selected. So this is a really easy way to quickly duplicate this detail on objects inside of Blender. And so one other thing I wanna note is sometimes, and let's take a look at this sphere. Um, this gets a little bit clunky when, uh, when you're doing something with faces that aren't the same size. Right, like this is easy because it's taking all of these and it's just making copies across faces that are exactly the same size. So all of these over here, if I tab in here, all of these are exactly the same size of this object. So everything fits nicely. However, on something like a UV sphere, right, all of these squares are going to be non-uniform, right? Like each one of them is gonna be slightly different size. So that's gonna get you a little bit of an odd result, but there's some tools in here to help with that. So, and notice how I have this recess set in here. Well, what I wanna do is I wanna select the edges around my surface, right? The edge loop right here. I wanna right click and click mesh copier, and then I'm gonna run mesh copier by selecting some surfaces. And notice how up near the top, these surfaces get a lot smaller, where down here, these are gonna be about the same size, right? But let's say I was to now run mesh copier in here. First thing you're gonna notice is you start getting these really weird results up here on the top, right? And the reason you're getting weird results up here on the top is because it's trying to take, um, it's trying to take this detail, which is a certain size, and it's trying to copy it along the surfaces right here. Well, all we need to do in order to fix that, and we, we can't 100% fix it. Let me start there. Um, because you're gonna get a little bit of uh, deformation when you do this. However, there's options up here for merge distance, right? So notice how if I put this at zero, it's not really merging anything, but if I turn my merge distance up, what it's going to do is it's going to start merging the vertices of the objects together, right? So if I turn my vert, 
If I turn my merge distance up to 0 0.03, it's going to merge all of these together. However, it's merging them to the point where you're kind of losing some of that detail. So there is a limit to what this can do when you're dealing with these other sizes right here. However, some of these look totally okay, right? Especially if you tab out of edit mode and you look at it, you can see how you were able to get these recesses really quickly. So another thing you might do is you might add the detail for each one of these rows individually if you decided that you wanted to do that and then just copy them for the rows each way. But do be aware that if you are trying to copy detail across different sized surfaces, this is going to be a little bit different. All right, so I'll link to this add-on in the notes down below, but leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about it. If it's something you might use, if there's some features you'd like to see, I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.